Hi, welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten and I have been messing about with Canva again this morning. So what I've done is I've took lots of printouts, kind of going for a vintage garden theme. Um, so I printed them out and I've coffee dyed them. Um, I have put an overlay over them as well, a kind of white, white bits and a kind of glow sparkly bits i think i put in glow overlay for that one and um, the glow overlay is a bit polka dotty so i took the transparency right down um do you know what? i do need to think about the print my i don't know if it's printed ink it doesn't like getting wet so like this one here i probably salvage this one and this one maybe this one but a lot of it i kind of lose when i would get it wet so something i need to think about when i'm printing out i like this flower it's a dried flower these are nice this is little oh i can't remember what they're called in a bottle and there's quite a lot i like this bike and even though the colors ran here i think it adds to it um that's actually real daisies and i just put i think i put an epic filter on it i'm not sure love this um, put a few wallpapers. I forgot to knock the transparency down in the white overlay, but that's okay. Love this. So I've got a lot of stuff here to work with. This is the ones we made the other day. This is what started it off. So I am going to stick these onto the back of thin book pages just to give them a bit more resilience. But also not to make them too thick. I love that how she's came out the back. Um, and then we'll cut them up and we'll start making things with them. I didn't use book pages. I put them in the back of squared paper because I have about a thousand sheets of it, and I thought it gives me more options if I decide to maybe leave it uncovered at the back. Um, the other thing is is I'm using extremely cheap copier paper that, that I buy to make address labels with. Um, probably if you used a better quality paper, you wouldn't need to stick them down. But um, the, this is like, <laughs> now you get printer paper quality, but this is lower quality than that probably. But I absolutely refuse to buy paper, seeing as I've got, got it. I'm surrounded by it. It's everywhere. It's just not plain. Um, anyway, so just thinking about what we can do. Okay, so I have used some of the ephemera to make pockets with pockets. So I used an envelope as a base. Now these are so thin, they're from the pound shop, I don't know, it's probably like 100 for a pound or 50 for a pound or something. And what I did was I ripped them open because then it was easier to use them. So I've made this one here, which has, this was the watercolour flower garden landscape that I made with the stencils so I've put that in as a tuck spot and I have a lovely sturdy pocket here this is a lovely door full of mystery secret garden I think I put in for that actually into Canva so we have that big pocket there we have this tuck spot and we have this is sturdier than it looks. See, because it's backed onto the square paper, it's a lot sturdier than it looks. This is a front lo loading pocket here, and this is just a jelly print that I did. It's a bit bright, but I kind of feel it fits in with the garden theme. It should be, a, although I'm going for a kind of vintage garden, it still should be quite bright. And then this big pocket here. Now, ideally, I should have decorated inside that envelope but I'll know for the future this one here is the this is just a picture to look at in front 
this was on the how to use Canva, I think, when I did did it actually on this when I was on Canva. And big pocket again. And then this is a big side pocket. Just there. And this one has two side pockets at the front and one big pocket they've all got that big pocket and then there is three pockets here however this one is not going to fit I could put a pen in there but so these are more for aesthetic like you would put in something maybe just a really nice tag or something that you're not going to be taking in and out a lot um but i just love how it looks i love this i love this design it's got that william morris look about it and if it is his then i apologize for my ignorance and th these are just beautiful so oh i also the tuck spot where are you Yes, so this was the one I did on camera, but the tuck spot one is the nicest one. But I've inked that up. I've took a border out of the Pepin border book. And this scrapbook paper does seem to appear on everything I tried to put. Not this one, but everything else. Or that one. <laughs> it appears in a lot of things. Um, I've just added that in as well. Mainly because I'd used the bottom of that border on something else. <laughs> So the tags with pockets that I made the other day with the book pages. So the ones that I'd glued but didn't decorate, I've decorated. So got a wee pocket there. This is the one with the belly band. The wee secret garden. And this is the one with the two. They're actually more like side pockets now though. They're a cross between a pocket and a tuck. But I talk it or a puck. Anyway, God, my jokes are terrible today. So what I thought was, I'd go over what I did with the book pages. Uh, the book page, yeah, book pages. I'll use book pages. Um, obviously, I have sewn these, and anything that wasn't sewn like here. I've used matte medium on so but I'm going to use the glue stick on the video but like I say you need to use either sewing or a, a much stronger glue like the art glitter or matte medium or whatever um so the first thing I would do is here's my ruler I covered this here and I tried to, there's the first one. So this one, I haven't put it down far enough, but this one I've put it down a lot further. So I brought it down. So we'll cut it about three quarters, two thirds, three quarters here. And then what I did was I removed this. I opened the gussets up. And see if you don't have an envelope, you can you just you can use a piece of paper and just put it into an envelope shape. Actually, I liked all the torn edges, so I put the torn edges to the outside where possible. So, so you can still close the gussets over that, but it is closing there, covering there. But you could just ink that up, so there would be no worries there. Now, you could decorate down here, but you would do it very thinly. So then I would turn it over and do the front. I, I treated this one as separate, so only went to here. So it's up to you if you put down, if you just make it decorative like I did here, or if you want to put in pockets or tucks. Um, but I would decorate down here so we'll put this on as decoration and then so that's not going anywhere so that's fully glued so 
do you know what I should put I'll, I'll use the book pages for the decorative parts because this is decorative as well it's not going to be used for anything and then I'll use something else for the pockets got child's joke book pages that I've kept because they're good quality and they're coloured so a bit of gesso over the top or paint or something will cover up the words or to the extent that they won't be readable. Okay so I'm going to put a little well put the two side pockets on eh So, um, for the side pockets, I mean, so basically, you're only sticking it down on three sides for the side pockets. There you go. So side pocket one. We'll pretend this is really strong. Right, so that's two side pockets there. Now obviously you could have made them top loading pockets, you could have made them tuck spots, anything at all. Okay, so far here. Again, you could just decorate it or you could make it into a pocket. I think that we'll decorate it and then we'll put a pocket on top. There we go. So, okay, and then, right, we've done two sides, so we'll do a, we're doing it up with the way because we've already done sides. Okay, so, us. We have our two side pockets which are, are, are sticking now and then we have our top pocket here and then we have our pocket behind. So here what we need to do is we need to re-glue the gussets Again, strong glue or sewing. And there we go. Okay, so for the sewing, I have sewn it like so. So there's that pocket. There's that pocket and then this one is still like a side tuck stay because I'll do that side when I do the gussets there. Classic error and I did it when I did this one as well. You can't sew the gussets together because these are side opening pockets you can't sew them together because you'll just interfere with the pockets. You'll need to use proper glue. So, like so, glue them together. Job done. Right, 
and that's it so i am going to do some more with this canva and ephemera and i'm also going to try and do more book page tags like in different varieties because i really like these and i love that this little one with this little pocket fits in here so anyway um thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you soon and take care